All right, Finn has absolutely no idea I'm making this video, but here we are, regardless, okay? So, my fancy team is not working out so well right now. Hopefully, we can come back. I don't know what's going on. I just can't speak. Hopefully, we can make a comeback. There we go. Was that so hard? So today, our fantasy teams are going to be dueling to the death. So naturally, I had to make Finn the Philadelphia Finns. I know that he does the Finns a lot. It's his thing. So I honored it here. And I don't really have anything. I always just make random stuff. And I've never used this logo before. So I made the Toronto Rockets. And I will show you my team first. So I'm going to do best lines for both of us. And here's our squad. So right now, I have Ovechkin Pavelski, who is... Unbelievable right now, by the way. Guy has been putting up bare points. I actually traded tactics for Pavelski, and I would say I fleeced him because I got Pavelski and Perron in exchange for Evgeny Kuznetsov. I There's no way I lost that trade. Not now, anyway. And then we got Johnny the Stud Huberdo. This guy puts up bare points every year, and I get him every year. I don't know how, but I just... He always slips in fantasy, so I got him. And then... We got Timothy Jimothy Oshi playing with Vinny Trocek and Kyle Connor. Another guy that slips under the radar every single year. Unbelievable. Perron, Cody Glass, and Brian Rust. And then we've got Jakob Vrana with Kalorn and Olofsson. So, pretty good team. Defensively, I've got Ryan Ellis and Chris Letang playing together. And then we got Aaron Ekblad with Dougie Hamilton and Nicholas Hegg playing with Adam Fox. In net, I've got Vasilevsky backed up by Samsonov. And if you want to see my scratch players, I think it's only goalies. We got Allen and Talbot. So I have Samsonov technically on IR right now. And I believe Talbot's also on the IR at the moment. Okay, well, there is the Toronto Rockets. Let's check out the Philadelphia Finns here. I think I'm going to get destroyed, but you never know what's going to happen. So let's see. He's got David Pasternak, Sidney Crosby, and Patrick Kane. That is just not fair. Then we've got Kessel, Bergeron, and Line. JVR, Radulov, and Mayer. And then... Grizzlick, he only has 11 forwards, so there you go, Hornqvist, and Faraby. On defense, he has Tori Krug and Charlie McAvoy, so a former Bruin and a Bruin. I feel like he has a lot of Bruins, now that I'm really thinking about it, because he's got Pasta, Bergeron, and I think Grizzlick is also with the Bruins. Then he has McAvoy, but then Myers, Provorov, Muzzin, Graves, and another Bruin, Tuka Rask. And Carey Price is there as well. So yeah, I'm probably going to get absolutely destroyed here. But you never know. Might stand a chance. I feel like I'm the only one that owns this game and uses the playoff mode. Does anybody else realistically use this mode? They still have the tournament mode? I feel like I've asked this before, but I genuinely don't remember. So if they do, that's kind of cool. But continuous OT, full sim. Yes, please. And then we are going to substitute out the Dallas Stars for a custom team in the Finns. And then... We will have the Toronto Rockets as, I believe that's the home team. Or, I'm not really sure. I, I always think the right team is the home team, but it says Philadelphia Finns versus. I don't know if that's like a hint. Philadelphia Finns at Rockets kind of thing. So, I don't know. But we're going to find out here. Doesn't really make that much of a difference anyway. Okay, here we go. So, play next game. Let's simulate the game. I don't want to sim next game because that skips past it. I made that mistake many a time so i'm gonna try to avoid doing that here let's crank up the simulation speed fourth liner scores oh okay all right first of all why is the fourth liner out there the first 30 seconds in the game what kind of strategy are they pulling here are they just trying to prove that they don't even need that stacked first line because mission accomplished oh yeah there we go kyle connor baby okay so that's a huge goal to end the first period cuts the lead Radulov. Going to bury a goal there to start the second. About 40 seconds in. Toronto is not looking good for us right now. Come on. Let's go. Step it up. I mean, yeah. Like I said, our team overall-wise is not as good. Chris Letang, fire me vertical. That is huge. And let's keep the sim going here. Why? Why does he consistently score in the first minute of every period? Is that going to keep happening? Because, like, we are so screwed, if that's the case. That is so demoralizing. Imagine a team scoring the first minute of every period. You just give up. All right, well, this one's a write-off. Oh, okay, really? We're going to let T. Weiler Myers score? That's not a good first game for Toronto. Lots of hockey left. 
Here's the three stars for that game. We got Provorov, Crosby, and Farabee. Two flyers there as star number one and three. Time for game number two. Let's... Oh, I'm pressing the wrong one there. There we go. Put the simulation speed up. And they have two shots, but they didn't score the first minute in this time. So we're already doing better. There we go. Here we go. Love to see it. Carry Price is in, which I guess they're rotating. One for one. Can't really blame them. Two very good goalies there. Patty Horns tied it up. So we have a 1-1 game entering the second here. Shots are 9-9. Nine to nine, And we are actually putting up a fighting chance this time. So that's good. Come on. Don't give them power plays. Their team... Give them power plays. I don't care what you have to do. Go out there and take every... Just get hit for everything in the book. Honestly. If we're going to do that, I really don't care. Uh, just look at the rules. Study them just to break them. And that that way, you know, maybe we'll score some more shorthanded goals. Oh, Charlie McAvoy. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, we're about halfway through the third period here. A huge power play goal. Why? I get excited, and his team just says, screw you, right to my face. I'm not even going to get excited. Big goal. I don't care. They're going to tie it up anyway, right? Yes. All right. That's what I got to do. Just not get excited. Here are your three stars from this night. Here We've got Kyle Connor and Ovechkin. Good job, fellas. Let's hope that we can take one on the road here okay let's put the simulation speed up and no goal first minute in this time again so that was i mean obviously it was just kind of luck anyway but at least it's not something that they actually do they do still s oh wait no that was us Vinny trocek certified beautician massive goal we are out shooting them right now they kind of cut up at the end there though second Period of play. Oh, I just realized I didn't change his abbreviation. So he is the aces. Sorry about that, Finn. But anyway, holy... Okay, relax, Toronto. What's going on here? We are lighting it up this game. Halfway through here. And three to nothing for Toronto over the aces. Can't believe I forgot to change that. That's unbelievable. Won't make that mistake again. Just kidding. Yes, I will. They're gonna let Trocek score again. So that's a mistake they're making right now. 28 shots. We are just dominating them right now. What's happening? Okay. I guess the Aces are nervous in front of their hometown fans there, clearly. Because they are not performing right now. Alright, line A. Don't do it. I could I could just see it now piling up. They just get four goals in a row, tie it up. Go to overtime. First minute they score. Just to have the ultimate slap in the face. The three stars from this one. Vinny Trocek, two goals, four hits. Vasilevsky with a one GAA. Yep, and a 962. Timothy Jimothy with two ha- What? That time I actually have an explanation. I went to say apples, and at the same time, my brain said, No, hit those aren't apples. They're hamburger helpers. And then I just over overwrote myself. Is that a word? Well, surprisingly, the Toronto Rockets are actually up in the series right now. And the Aces did not score in the first minute here. So once again, we're off to a stellar start. We definitely... Okay, there you go. Bergeron's going to get his... I think that's his first of the series. We really didn't set the expectation high after game one. You know, with that not stellar performance. We got blown out a little bit and also let in a goal first minute of every damn period. Okay. They are throwing it right back in our face now. Not good. I mean, we got to go to a game seven, right? It's all for the storyline, you know? So that's that's obviously what's going to happen here. Wait, what happened? Oh, the period just ended. Patrick Kane, sure. Why not? Just pile it on. Now we are getting completely dominated. Ovi, love to see it. And Patty Horns decides that he's not going to let us have the last laugh. I mean, I guess there's still a little bit of time here for another goal, but... All right, Provorov, that is a bad loss. Wow, we got wrecked. The three stars for this game, we got Patrice Bergeron with one and one, Carey Price with a 9.58, and Patty Kane with one and one as well. All right, the series is 2-2 right now. We are back in the T-Dot, or the Six, or just Toronto, if you will, okay? Halfway through the first period here, no goals yet. Shots are even. All right, maybe the series is evening out a little bit here. Patty Kane, well, I mean, it has been even, but I mean, in the 
sense that for the most part, I feel like the games have been kind of blowouts, have they not? I'm pretty sure, has there even been a one goal game? I think they've all been pretty bad, but I'd have to go back and look. Oh yeah, let's go. Fire me up. That's two very quick goals there. Almost within a minute. Very close to being within one minute, but just couldn't quite do it. That's okay. I'll take it. You ever know. Guy is an absolute stud muffin. Are we going to go with a three-goal lead into the third? That'd be ideal. And it looks like we are going to do that. Oh, pardon me. Sorry, Ovechkin. A four-goal lead. Well, I don't envision a four-goal comeback here from the Finns. However, I also do not rule it out. It's very possible. 12 minutes to go here in the third. They've managed to get one so far from Phil the Thrill. Hot dog, cheeseburger, whatever his name is. Giving them a power play, that's risque. And they don't capitalize, that's going to do it. All right, nice. A 5-2 win for the Toronto Rockets. And we have Ovechkin with two goals and a helper. Giberto with four points and Pavelski with two. Look at this guy. He's an absolute machine. I actually played Finn, I think it was just last week, and he defeated me. So it would be really good if Toronto could just finish this one off here. And then we don't have to worry about a game seven. You know, that'd be proper for us to do. Because this is my channel. So obviously the boys got to perform. You know, it's just how it works. It's... Simple math, Spongebob. You just gotta set it to W for Wumbo. Got it set to M for Mini. When it should be set to W for Wumbo. Or in this case, it's W for Win. Okay, come on. We have the one goal lead. Shots are even. There's no way we're gonna keep them off the board. So definitely gotta get another goal here soon. Four minutes left in the second. Wow, is it gonna be a one goal game going into the third? And we are also one game away from taking a W in this series. Kyle Connor with lead time left. 13.37. Are we actually going to do it? I think we might actually do it. The Toronto Rockets, ladies and gentlemen. They've done it. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Kyle Connor with the empty netter. And a 3-0 Toronto win to take home the series. I'm sorry, Finn. You battled hard, you beat me where it actually matters in fantasy, but, you know, at least I kind of got my revenge here. So here's the three stars, Vasilevsky with a shutout. I can't believe he actually did it. 33 saves, Kyle Connor with two goals, and Chris Letang with a goal and four hits. A little physical game there from Chris. Well, let's check out the individual player stats here, just to get a, wow. He really just dominated, man. Nine points in six games. Three goals, six helpers. Ovechkin had six as well. Same with Patty Kane, and so did Crosby. Kyle Connor put up five, and he got two clutch goals there at the end of the series. Pavelski put up five. He was a plus six. Wow. All right. Oshie was a plus five. So was Bergeron. Or no, sorry. Plus four. I was looking at points. Are you kidding me? Oshie was a plus four. Bergeron was a plus one. And Trocek was a plus four. Glass put up four points, which was awesome. He was a minus one. Farabee. I'll kind of just scroll through the list here so you can see everyone. Who put up no points? It's got to be someone, right? Yeah, we got two here. Adam Fox and Ryan Graves. Two defense. Did not put up a single point. Olafson got one assist. I'll take that. All right. Let's check out the tendies here. Vasilevsky played all six games. He put up a record of four and two. Yeah, we know that. And 913 save percentage. Three GAA. Okay. And, yeah, shutout. That last game there. These guys kind of split. Not really. Rask went 1-1 one and one and he went 1-4. I'm not really sure how that works. But basically, Carey Price was in for a game and they pulled him for Rask because he wasn't doing good. 879 for Carey. 345. And a 944. One, they should have just ran with Rask. I don't know what they were thinking. All right, well, there you have it. I will continue to make these. I'm going to challenge probably pretty much everyone as long as I, you know... <laughs> feel like making these kinds of videos they are pretty fun to do these simulations in the playoff series so i do enjoy it so we probably will get around to everyone eventually but yeah that was that and we took dub finn if you're somehow getting around to watching this ever then ha in your face but again you still beat me where it actually matters so you have the last laugh all right folks well thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it 
If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated, and I'll catch you later.